I've read the fiery gospel written Burnished rows of steel As you deal with my condemner So with you my grace shall deal Let the hero born of woman Crush the serpent with his heel Since God is marching on Till your kingdom comes back to earth. Yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, kids, you excited to study the Bible today? Yeah. Hold up those Bibles. What is the Bible? The Word of God. Yes. What is it the path to? The straight and narrow. And it leads to where? Heaven. Heaven, because it tells us about Jesus. Yeah. Can you say Jesus, Joshua? Jesus. Yeah, he's our king, isn't he? Yeah. The King of Kings. All right, we got something very exciting to okay. study today. You ready? Yeah. We are going to talk about four. These are angels. Daddy drew angels here. Four angels that are going are standing upon the four sides of the earth. One standing on the north, one on the south, one on the west, and one on the east. Yes, Lucy. How can one one be standing upside down? Because he's, he's standing on the earth, right? Oh. He's not really upside down. It just looks like that to us. All right. Good question. But why so got, are the low angels upside down? What do these, what do these angels have in their hand, Joshua? Uh, winds. 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 I drew little tornadoes here, like winds. They're holding them in their hands. All right. They're like, uh, if we just put, take the globe out here, the four angels, there's one up here. One down there, one down here, one over here. And they're holding four winds. Kind of like tornadoes. You know what a tornado is? Like? That's the earth. Okay. Yep. Where are the angels standing? On the earth, the four sides. Yes, Lucy. Um, how can they be holding tornadoes? Isn't that crazy? Angels can do fantastic things. Angels can hold, these angels can hold the winds. The four winds. Yes, Jacob. I don't why, because God gives the angel power to hold stuff that we can't do. Because these bodies die, but if you're good, you go up to heaven. But if you're not good, you stay on earth and, don't, and you don't come back. Well, if the people that don't make it to heaven... They go to hell, and then after um, Judgment Day, the people that don't make it to heaven go to the lake of fire, and they die forever. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then we live forever, and no more bad people around to make things unhappy, right? Mm -hmm. We're excited. But these four angels, oh, I forgot to tell you, we're going back to Revelation 7. I know we got to 22 already, but we skipped a few chapters and we have to go back and finish them. We're going to finish chapter 7, I think, 9 and 10. And then we're done with Revelation. Okay? You guys excited? Yeah! All right. All right. So this says, what number is that? Four. Four. And it says angels. Okay? This, what number four. is this, Joshua? Four. four. And what is this? Winds. Winds. Okay, we're going to read this part together, okay? And it says, And after these things, I saw four. That's how you spell four, okay? F-O-U-R spells four. And F-O. F-O-U-R spells four. Okay, ready? Also F-O. No, that doesn't spell four. Okay, saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, that says earth. We forgot and. Holding the four winds of the earth. The Revelation 7 verse 1. one. Alright, now what, these, what do you think these four winds do? What happens when they let them go? They go when they go... They go down and make a tornado on the earth. It's, it's a symbol of God's judgment. Okay? Before the four angels, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read what, what, the, what, the, what they tell the four angels. Now listen. I'm going to read uh, the rest of that verse. Revelation 7, 
It says, they're holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the, tr nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Now listen. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, until we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. All right, so there's these four angels right here, right? There comes another angel from the east, all right? And he says, stop! Don't let the four winds blow on the earth until we seal the servants of God in their foreheads. What's that called? It's called the Repeat after me. The seal of God. The seal of God. See, God's going to let these four angels let the four winds go, and judgment's going to happen to the earth. Lots of bad things are going to happen on the earth. But before the bad things happen, God says, I want my servants protected. Put a seal on them. Do you remember when Noah went into the ark mm -hmm. before the flood? Mm -hmm. He was protected in the ark, wasn't he? Yeah, bring that my non-angel. Oh, <laughs> We're just going to keep this one, okay? okay. Yes, Lucy. Um, why did he say stop? Because he didn't want the end to happen or the judgment to happen until his servants or until God's servants were protected. God doesn't want us to get hurt by his, his wrath, right? God's very angry and he's going to send the four winds on the earth to punish the earth. Because they're not listening to the Bible. Mm -hmm. But those that are listening to the Bible, he says, hey, wait a second. You put a seal of protection on them. Protect them. So, it, it, when God's mad, is he going to hurt you, Joshua? No. No, he loves you. Yeah. Is he going to let the bad guys get hurt? Yes. Yeah. yeah. These four winds are aimed at the bad guys and anybody who won't listen to the Bible. All right? But when these four winds blow, are you guys going to be scared? No. No, because you're going to be protected. Yeah, yeah. And, and the little Bible will, the little, little Bible will be on my team. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, it's like, it's just like, uh, pretend uh, that this, these are tornadoes. Yeah. And they let out four big tornadoes. And they rip everything up. Is it going to touch you? No. No. But these are um, symbols of yeah. God's wrath, okay? Yeah, yeah, we white, white, we white tornadoes. Tornadoes are pretty neat, aren't they? But they're very dangerous, and they and 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 we and people get hurt by them. So we, when tornadoes come, we pray for the people, okay? But the tornadoes are symbols of God's wrath. Yes, Jacob. So what was the big a the angel coming from the um? East. Was, was that angel God? Nope, this was another angel of God. When it, angels are God's servants. Okay? Just like we're his servants, but they're his servants in heaven. Hey, God! And God, somewhere on the earth, but God, we can't see them. Yeah, God's going to punish the earth, and he's going to use the four angels to let the four winds punish the earth. Oh. You know, when it was, as we get closer to the end, we might see a lot of earthquakes, volcanoes, maybe even pieces of a comet or meteors hit the earth. Hey, Dad. We might see great big fires on the earth. Yeah. But God's going to protect us. He's going to make sure we stay safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy is going to punish the earth. Yep, he's going to punish the earth, the bad people in the earth. Little bad. Yeah, that's why we want to be on God's team, don't we? Yeah. We don't want to be on Satan's team. No. Because the four winds are coming after them. Okay, do me a favor, kids. 
Stand up. Come up here. Come up here. Okay. What's your question, Lucy? Um, how can there be four tornadoes? That is pretty, pretty interesting because God can do whatever he wants, right? No. Okay. Now, Joshua, come over here. I want you guys to spin around in a circle. The wind's blowing. How about if I do it too? We're the four winds. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, you four winds, you three winds, you go sit down now. Was that fun? You were spinning yeah. like tornadoes. Yeah. All right. All right. So when those four winds come, Whoa, the earth is going to be, uh, be punished. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got some questions for you guys. What has to happen before the four angels let the four winds go? What has to happen first? And fire. Before the four winds let, let, before the angels let the four winds go, what happens? Um... God wants his people protected. You are right. This angel here from the east says, do not let the winds blow until let it see. we seal the servants. Right? Okay. I don't, I don't like that angel. <laughs> He's a good angel. He's a good angel. Hey, I didn't read it, but in this chapter, I had a question here. It says, how many from each? No, no, I don't like it, angel. No, these are all good angels. These are all God's angels. Oh. Okay. Um, in this chapter, I forgot to tell you guys, there were 144,000 of the tribes of Israel that were sealed, that were protected. 12,000 from each tribe, okay? All right. What does the seal protect you from? The winds. Yep. It protects you from God's wrath, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Can I yes. God is going to punish the fire. With fire? Yeah. Yes, he's going to punish the earth with fire. Oh. As this time. You know, remember he punished the earth with water before? Yeah. yeah. During Noah's flood? Yeah. The next time he's going to punish it with fire. Yeah. How is he right. punish it with fire? He's going to send fire from heaven. Why right. you, kind of why like Sodom and Gomorrah. Remember yeah. that? Why did you Because there's a, people, a lot of bad people in the earth right now that won't listen to God. Oh. And they listen to Satan instead. Okay, one more question. When God, when God sent the great flood, what did he seal Noah up in? Uh, ark. The ark, right? Noah and the animals? Yeah. So when God, that was God's wrath. The flood was God's wrath. God was like, I've had enough. They won't listen to me. He got very angry, right? Yeah. And then he goes, I'm sending the flood. Right? Yeah. And, and Noah was protected in the ark, though. Mm -hmm. God told Noah he, his wrath was coming, but he, he needed to build an ark. But in the end, the four winds are coming. Instead of the flood. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Yeah. What? Um, I would get rid. Get rid. Okay. Any other questions? Good job, kids. Amen. Christian Overcomers is brought to you by the tithes and offerings of our listeners. If you'd like to support our ministry, please go to ChristianOvercomers.com. God bless you, and thank you for your support. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah.